Hey there, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can factory reset, also known as a hard reset, your Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'm gonna teach you two methods to factory reset your Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, one of the methods is if you can get into your phone and the second method is if you have a password and you can't get into your phone, I'll show you how to do the hard reset with the buttons so you can also uh, reset your iPhone back to factory settings. All right, so let's go ahead with the first way to do it, which is through the settings. So you're gonna go into settings, you're gonna go down to where it says general, and then in general, all the way at the bottom, it's gonna say transfer or reset iPhone. You're gonna select that. Here you're gonna select erase all content and settings. Here it's just gonna let you know that everything on your iPhone will be deleted. So make sure you do back up your iPhone if you can and if you want to uh, you know, save certain information from your phone because this will erase everything completely on your iPhone. Once you're ready, go ahead and hit continue it's gonna ask you for your password. If you do, if you have one, type it in and the reset process will begin. All right, so for the second option, if you have a password and you can't get into your phone or maybe you've put in your password in wrong too many times and your iPhone is uh, disabled or unavailable, like it says here. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna need a computer with Apple Music. So either a, you can use a Windows PC or you can use your iMac or MacBook. Okay, so this is what we're gonna need to do. You're gonna to need to connect your phone to the computer with Apple Music. Okay, connect it to your phone, connect the other end of the cable to the computer. And then once you're ready, so we're gonna press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power lock button until the phone shuts off. Once the phone powers off, you're gonna release the power lock button really quick. And then you're gonna press and hold the power lock button once again, along with the volume up button. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. So, Volume up, volume down, power lock button. Once the phone powers off, remember we're gonna let go and then press and hold volume up and power lock button. And you're gonna continue to hold them until the iPhone restore mode appears. And then once you see this uh, connect to MacBook uh, screen, uh, you are, you've made it to the right screen. This is the Apple iPhone restore screen. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the prompts on the uh, MacBook uh, or PC. All right, so we're gonna receive this message here. Uh, it's gonna look like this. A software update is required to connect to your iOS. So we're gonna select install here. And this is gonna take a little while. Um, you have to wait until it downloads uh, the new iOS, which will be reinstalled into the iPhone because in order to do the reset uh, uh, with this method, the old software from the iPhone will be removed and the new one that we're downloading is gonna have to be uh, installed into the iPhone. All right, so it is gonna take a little while, depending on how fast your internet speeds are, but uh, I'm gonna continue recording once it is downloaded. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, uh, we got this message here on the computer. Uh, so it says there's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So here we're gonna select restore. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to uh, restore? Uh, everything is gonna be deleted. So, you know, once again, everything on your iPhone will be erased back to factory condition. So go ahead and hit restore and update once you're ready. It's gonna give you this confirmation message, hit next, and then hit I agree. Okay, uh, so as we can see down here, it says downloading iPhone software update. Uh, so it's downloading another update. It says 11 minutes remaining. So depending on how fast your internet connection is. All right, so, so in the process of your factory reset, your iPhone may uh, come back to this screen. Okay, so it will come out of restore mode. If that happens, just repeat the process once again. So volume up, volume down, hold, uh, press and hold the lock button until the power, uh, to the, till the phone shuts off. And remember, it has to be connected at all times. Once it does, let go and then press and hold volume up and the power lock button and continue to hold them until the restore screen appears. Once you see that, you can let go. All right, so we're gonna place it right here once again. And as we can see, we got the message on the computer again. Uh, let's go ahead and hit restore. I believe the software did completely download. So hit restore and update. It should not say downloading anymore since uh, I think it completely downloaded it. And as we can see, it is extracting the software here of the iPhone. So the restore process is underway. 
Okay, now we're gonna get the this loading bar on the iPhone. We're gonna wait for it to completely load up. So as we can see, the bar is completely loaded now and on the Mac here, it says verifying iPhone restore. So it should be done pretty soon. Okay, so as we can see, the reset process is done here on the MacBook and we have one more loading bar here to go. All right, everyone, so I actually finished the reset process with the other iPhone 15. I didn't want to do it on the 15 Pro Max because I didn't want to erase all my info on it. So that is how you completely factory reset your Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max, also known as a hard reset. The two ways to do it. So go ahead and hit that like button. If this video helped you out, comment down below and let me know. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.